Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a full face of new makeup and yeah, so not all these things are actually new products in the world, but they are new to me and there are a few things that I don't have, so like, don't be mad. Also, I have my coffee because I need it. So the first product I have is this primer. This is from Kaja. This is the Blur Drop Weightless Primer. I got this from TJ Maxx where I get like everything in my life. And it's just supposed to be like a pore smoothing, pore smoothing? Like a face smoothing, pore refining, pore blurring primer. It has like a weird smell to it. Like not like bad. Okay, so that feels like a little oily, oily greasy is kind of that feeling that I just got from that. I got this recently from TJ Maxx. This is the Becca and Jaclyn Hill Shimmering Skin Perfector, Perfector Liquid in Champagne Pop. Guys, this was $4.99 at TJ Maxx, like what? Like, look how cute. Okay. I'm just gonna do like half a pump and I'm gonna put this on my face. Like, I know I have oily skin, but sometimes, you know, I just want a glow. And I'm gonna try this as a primer way and then we'll see if I try it like on the actual face. But that gives like a nice highlight. I might regret that later today if I go outside because I'm already hot inside. So that gave like a really nice glow. Like if, if I wasn't wearing makeup, like a full face of makeup, this would be like a really pretty like primer to put on. And I know it's not technically a primer, but it works. Next thing, foundation. I have this NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Full Coverage Foundation. I actually got this from my cousin. She tried it and didn't want it so she gave it to me to try so let's see how this goes i really honestly have no idea like about this foundation i haven't really looked at reviews or anything i think i remember a lot of people liked it but honestly i, I don't remember and if you're curious this is in the shade alabaster probably the lightest one they have because she's pale and so am I. It says on the bottle it's up to 24 hour matte finish foundation so that's probably why she didn't like it. <laughs> it's because it's matte. Can you hear that in the background? That's bugs. Like that is just insects outside my house. They're so loud. It's like a little harder than the average foundation to kind of blend out in my opinion, like compared to what I've been wearing recently. I feel like it's a little more difficult to blend it out. This is why y'all haven't had a video recently, is because I have to turn off my air conditioning in my room because you hear it in the video and it gets so stinking hot. That and I've been like super busy. So the coverage is pretty nice. As you can see, I look like a ghost. Next I have this product from Hard Candy, which it's been a hot minute since I've tried anything from Hard Candy. But this is the Sheer Envy Instant Eye Fix Under Eye Treatment. It's supposed to depuff, brighten, smooth, prime, and moisturize your under eyes. Um, a long time ago, one of my favorite YouTubers, Juicy Jazz, um, she talked about this product and she just said it was like so amazing on the under eyes. It's definitely very cooling, but I think because I'm so pale, like, it might be a little too dark, and it feels like it might make my concealer go slippy-slidey. Why did I say it like that? It might make my concealer slip and slide around. It's just kind of how it feels. Oh, yeah. I don't know about this product, y'all. <laughs> but it's already under my eyes, so... Maybe, like... I'm gonna, like, tap it in, see if that makes a difference. Okay, so this concealer is the Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Concealer, and I have mine in the shade Fair. I also got this from TJ Maxx. Again, none of y'all are surprised. Um, I've already tried this out, but, like, I tried it once. It's very hard to get out of the tube. Like, the doe foot on it, like, is fatter and harder to get out of the tube. It's very watery, for sure, and like gives light coverage so if that's something you're into you might really like this concealer um but me not so much 
So moving on from concealer, I don't have a new powder or anything, so I'm just going to use one that I use all the time. I feel like once I set this concealer down, I do like it more than when it's not set. But I don't know, I still like reach for other concealers over this one. I'm going to do my eyebrows off camera really quick because I never really have any new eyebrow products and I don't know, I feel like eyebrow products aren't something that people really care about. So I'm going to do my eyebrows really quick and then I will be right back. Okay, so this might be cheating a little bit and don't get upset, but I'm going to be using a bronzer that you can't get anymore, but I'm not going to show you what it is because I don't want you to be upset. Well, should I? It's this Alexis Ren and ColourPop collab, and it's the bronzer and highlight that she did. I got it from my sister, so I didn't get it online. Oh, I already regret that. Okay. So I didn't get it online. My sister just gave it to me because she didn't want it anymore. I think this highlight would definitely be way too dark for me, so I'm not even going to try it. Um, but I do have a different highlight that we're going to try. Okay, moving on to blush. I have this blush from Too Faced. It's the Love Flush blush in I Will Always Love You. I just found this at TJ Maxx, and Chris bought it for me because he's so sweet. But this is what it looks like. It looks like a beautiful color, and I am so ready to put this all over my face. Do they sell these anymore? Does Too Faced still sell these? I don't know. Oh my gosh, yes. It has like the perfect amount of glow to it. Okay, so that was that blush. Love it. Also, how cute is this little packaging? Like, and it's a magnetic closure. Oh, I love it. Okay, for highlight, I have this Laura Geller Gilded Honey Illuminator. Um, this was all the rage like a long time ago and let's see what the rage is about I think I've tried this highlighter before on camera actually I don't remember but that is beautiful that is a beautiful highlighter you can see that right beautiful okay moving on to eyes I have this models own palette right here I got this at TJ Maxx I honestly don't know if they sell it anymore like in stores but they definitely have some at TJ Maxx this is the barely there 2 eyeshadow palette and this is what it looks like very pretty very pretty these two colors right here and I'm mixing them together and I'm gonna fluff that in my crease See, and I even just set this concealer and it's already creasing on my eyelids, so this is going to be fun. So I'm not really like showing you anything fancy, so that's why I'm not going to zoom in on my eyes or whatever, but also do you guys watch makeup tutorials? Is that something you'd like or is, are there like, is that something that's dying out? What do you want to see? Do you like seeing specific eye tutorials? Like let me know what you guys like to watch. I still love to watch makeup tutorials. Okay, so I'm going to take this color right here, this shade, and I'm going to try to put this in my outer corner. See how that works. Maybe bring it into the crease a little bit too. And then I'm going to take like the tiniest hint of that same color and run it along my lower lash line. Okay, so I actually have a shimmer from ColourPop that I want to use. So it's this one here in the palette, and it is in the shade Take It Slow. So I'm just going to take this on my finger, and I'm going to press it on my eyelid. I just like applying shimmers better this way. I feel like it gets more pigment. I don't know, I go back and forth between liking a brush and liking just using my fingertip. This is like a really pretty color. It's like kind of silvery. So next I have this ColourPop eyeliner that I'm going to use. This is the 
um, BFF Crim Gel Liner in the shade Overboard. It is like a sparkly brown shade. Right, I'm going to run this along my waterline. Ooh, that has like a really pretty metallicness to it. I'm going to run just a little bit on the outer portion of my upper eyelid. Not on the waterline, but on the actual like eyelid. Ooh, I really like that. That's really pretty. Okay, and I don't have a new mascara, so I'm just going to be using the ColourPop BFF Volume Mascara in the shade Black is Black. Is it black? No, Black on Black. I love this mascara. So good. And for lips today, I'm going to be using this Marc Jacobs Lamarck Liquid Lip Cream in the shade Fawn Over Me. I wore this the other day, and it was incredible. So it's not like... It's a new product to me, but I've worn it before. Sorry. And it like was so comfortable to wear on the lips all day. Okay, and that's what the lip color looks like. It's definitely like a corally kind of nude, but like not too corally. Like not too on the pinky side, more like the peachy corally. Does that make any sense? It's more like a peachy nude. I should have just said that in the first place. Okay, and lastly, I have this Coop and Daisy Up All Night Makeup Setting Spray. This is the mattifying version. Just gonna give my face a few spritz just to keep me matte because I'm gonna sweat a lot outside. I just already feel it. And that has such a nice spray. Like, look at this. Oh, so nice. I just got all over my camera. It does kind of like have a perfumey scent to it, like not too strong, but it does definitely have a scent. And then I always just take my beauty blender and pounce those water droplets onto my face, or into my face, not onto, just to make sure it locks it in. Alright guys, so that is everything for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Um, this is everything of the full face. Let me know of any new makeup that you have purchased recently and what's been your favorite, anything that I should try out. Again, thank you so much for watching this video. It means the world to me and I hope you guys are having a blessed day or night wherever you are and I will catch you guys in my next video.